felt coming into this one. It didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Proving once again why he's considered a clutch talent in this league. Rising to the occasion. The 76ers trail. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Griffin is out there with Abdul Jabbar. Then it's Larry Hughes. Then it's DeRozan. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the one spot. And Doncic hits it to go. And that's the way to close. Once Doncic has this type of look, game over. Abdul Jabbar hits to DeRozan. Tipped away. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Rodman. Nice D from DeRozan. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as he can. It's just a flu pass. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Abdul Jabal. Shot clock at six. DeRozan against Dungeon. And it's DeRozan missing. Second half rolling along now. About a minute play here. Hands against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut down to just one on the basket from Blake Griffin. That's their third straight make off an assist. The pass to Doncic. Over Abdul Jabbar. And it's Doncic missing. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Griffin inside. Rodman covering. The shot's good from Abdul Jabbar. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Now McGrady. He has six. Pass to Nance. That's good. Great play set up by T-Mac. Tracy McGrady. Nance has got four points in the quarter. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Philadelphia ahead, up one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. Welcome back to Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. This is the Eastern Conference Finals. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at the 76ers. Larry Nance out there with Dennis Rodman. Then it's Sabonis. Then there's Luka Doncic. And it's McGrady in at the shooting guard position. And it's Abdul-Jabbar. That time on the assist by Hughes. Abdul-Jabbar's got the lead up to one now for Charlotte. Hughes against McGrady. Over Hughes and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Larry Hughes. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for sure. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And I also love the way they move the basketball. What passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Down low, it's stolen by Rodman. Jedge passes to McGrady over Hughes. Here's Sabonis. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. And time Philadelphia time calls time here. They're leading by one. 106 left in the fourth quarter. got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He really got after him. He said, look, you can rest after the game. you got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Right, thank you, David. 
David Griffin. Yes! Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Insane jump by Sabonis. His confidence and leadership skills just have grown every year. Sabonis has no problem being that guy in that situation. Charlotte calls timeout. They're behind by three. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Tracy McGrady. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. I mean, his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some wild. tough spots and also finish it strong. Yeah. I'm not the first to say it, and I'm sure I won't be the last, but Griffin is one of the most physically gifted players that this game has ever seen. I don't think there's any doubt about that. As confident as it gets at the line. He wants to be up there in the tight ball. Here's McGrady. The Hornets pull it in. Shot and game clock separated by five. Hands against DeRozan. Griffin in position. Money. Time out, time out. Coming alive. I like how Griffin Sorry. commands the ball when the game is on the line. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're trailing by one. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? You know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. Yeah, how about one? You expect them to go for two here unless they get something wide open on the perimeter. That's an unforced error that would drive a coach crazy. Got to play heads up out there. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. And so they foul intentionally. But that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three point attempt. Jacks up a three. Misses the three. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five point game. Uh, with a chance to ice the game, he's got perfect focus at the line. Uh, you could put this one in the books. And the series has been won. And you can see the elation on their faces. It's not just happiness, but pure excitement and joy to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, yeah.